Brace yourself, this is going to be big. Two, two, three, four, seven. Looks easy, right? Fourteen. Forty-two. Two, one, three. Two, eight, three, seven. Mm hmm. One, seven, five. Four, five, zero. One, three, nine. Seven, five, nine. Six, zero, zero. Six, eight, three, seven, six. Two, five, one, oh. Six, seven, eight, seven. You want one more? They get big. Two, six, six, four, three, seven. One, four, four, nine, one, six, six, four, eight, six, oh, seven, eight, four, four. And the next one gets a lot bigger. And they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What are these numbers? Well, you don't have a clue, right? I wouldn't have a clue myself. Where did they come from? Yeah. Okay, well, the, where they came from is actually a puzzle, a, pu a genuine puzzle sequence. And it's a triangle. So I show you the beginning of the triangle and I ask you to explain how I'm getting from one row to the next. The zeroth row just has a single number in it, two. The first row is one, one. Second row is one, two. Then one, one, two. Yep. Then one, one, two, three. And then one, 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 two, two, three, four. They're getting bigger and bigger. The next one, one, two, three, four. Two, 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 three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, and so on. This is Lionel Levine's triangle. And how is it defined? Can you figure it out? Give up? Okay. Let's see how we would go from one, one, two. You read it from the back, and this tells you how many ones there are. So there are two ones in the next row. This says how many twos there are. There's one, two, and this says how many threes. So the next row is one, one, two, three. Okay, how do we go from one, one, two, three to this row? We read it from the back. The three says we begin with three ones. The two says the next we have two twos. That one says we have one three, and this says that one says we have one four. And we keep going in that way. So here again we have four ones, three twos, two threes, two fours, one five, one six, and one seven. That's the next row. And you keep going. That's the triangle. And now you add up the numbers in each row. So here we get a two. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. And we get four. So these numbers are the sums of the numbers in the rows. And it's an innocent looking triangle. But when you follow it for a few rows, you get a triangle which is bigger than any computer memory could possibly hold. That is, that is fiendish. I don't think anyone would get that in a job interview. No, unless they could cheat. Just in case you're wondering what would come next in this sequence, because obviously there are more than nine digits now, what we do is we have seven ones, six twos, five threes, four fours, four fives, three sixes, three sevens, a couple of eights, a couple of nines, and a couple of tens and then 11, 12, 13, and 14. So we're using full natural numbers, not digits. So for the sum of this row, we add the natural numbers, not the digits. So for example, 11 is treated as 11, not two ones, and the total of the whole row is 213. And so it continues. You can find out more about this sequence and many other sequences on the online encyclopedia of integer sequences and this is entry number A011784. And we've got plenty more videos with Neil Sloan, who's the founder and keeper of the OEIS. There are links on the screen and in the video description. We have to always go to a new square. And by the way, if you're into podcasts, we have a number file podcast. Have you listened to that yet? And I have another podcast called The Unmade Podcast with a friend of mine in Australia called Tim. I'll have links on the screen and down in the video description.